go with Daniel Kickett, uh, one of the big signings for Melbourne United in, in their first season. So, um, Daniel, welcome welcome to the NBL, really. Getting back from overseas, it must be exciting to uh, come back and play in your hometown. Uh, yeah, it is. It's is. Um, it's been a long time coming for me. I've been wanting to come back for a while and um, everything happened, everything came together this year and you know, there's a new club with a new vision and um, stoked to be home in front of the family and friends and finally get to play here in Australia again. And so you have been overseas for a while. Obviously, you went off and played college basketball as well in the States. And um, tell us a bit about where you've been playing and what you've been doing. Uh, I spend most of my time over in uh, between Spain, Italy, Poland, and Ukraine. So um, yeah, been over there for the last eight years and really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, it's, I think it's um, it's been a really good run and looking forward to getting started here now. You're one of a few players who have come back from overseas for this season for the United, and uh, um, Chris has put together a pretty exciting team, and you must be uh, looking forward to getting out on the court with these guys. Yeah, can't wait. We've had one quick hit out, and uh, it was good. It was good to play together, but once um, everyone's you know, healthy, we're missing a few guys, and once everyone's back together, you know, we're really excited. We've got a few more weeks to put in some work before our next practice match. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really exciting. Can't wait for October to roll around. Some of us have seen you playing you know, with the Australian Boomers and a little bit overseas on, on YouTube maybe, but there wouldn't be too many NBL fans that might have seen you up close and personal uh, lately. Tell us a bit about your game and, and what you're looking to bring to the NBL. Uh, my game's a bit of inside-outside. Um, I like to play between both and um, that's why I think this is a really good fit here with Chris because he played a similar type of game. And, um, so I'm really looking forward to working with him and, and getting some hinders from him about how to improve my game. And, uh, but yeah, but basically just a, a bit of post up, a bit of outside and uh, trying to facilitate with the obvious skills of everyone else. So. And you mentioned you've come back to your hometown, so a Victorian boy. Um, you know, it must be good to, to get involved with a club that's really got a, a Victorian feel about it and, and Melbourne United are really making an effort to get back and, and touch base with the junior clubs. Um, you know, that's something you've obviously come up through. Yeah, I come up as a number one inspector and uh, we're a very successful club and they still are. And um, yeah, but like you said, um, being able to integrate ourselves into Victorian basketball I think is really important because Victorian basketball has always been a powerhouse uh, from the junior level, state level, up to the senior level. So it's good to be able to be amongst that and, and help um, get that popularity back up in, in Australia. Are yeah. you waiting for a bit of warm weather to come back to you from Melbourne? You've missed a bit of that? Yeah, I missed that. I don't think I've had an Australian summer since I was 17. So yeah, it's, or maybe 18, but yeah, it's been a while. I had uh, endless winters and uh, a couple of really cold ones, negative 30 in Ukraine and Poland. So yeah, looking forward to a bit of, bit of spring, which is hopefully not too far away. Well, welcome back and uh, good luck with your next step of your basketball journey. Thanks very much.